Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with another Oxygen tutorial. And in this one, we are going to take a look at how to create this kind of a slide toggle uh, navigation sub menu right here. This is the project that I'm working on currently. And unfortunately, Oxygen doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't have like this functionality inbuilt in any of, um, of their like menu uh, modules. Uh, well, at least on desktop. And in this tutorial, we are going to be using like simple Oxygen tools and uh, we are going to be using some jQuery. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. So of course, we're not going to be recreating that whole uh, page that we just saw. We're just going to create a, the, the navigation effect. So for that, I'm just going to create a section and I'm going to make it uh, span across our, well, from top to bottom of our viewport. So I'm going to set the height to 100 VH units. And uh, inside, I'm going to add a div that's going to have all its margins set to auto just to center that uh, div. And unfortunately, we cannot like use that apply all to when we are setting uh, the margins to auto. So we have to do it manually like this. And uh, inside, I'm just going to insert some we could insert text links or just plain text, you know, that's, uh, that's totally up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in something like menu link, uh, maybe let's do like menu link one. I'm going to change its color real quick and I'm going to change its font size so you can see it a bit better, uh, maybe to something like 26. This should be all right. So this is our like first uh, menu link and uh, we could go ahead and duplicate it a few times, say like four times maybe. And uh, I guess it would be a good idea to maybe like change uh, these uh, names. So just, you know, so it looks like a, almost like a real menu. So menu link four is going to be the last one. So now what I want to do is I want to create the sub menu. And let's say that it's going to be sitting inside this menu link number two. So I'm just going to quickly duplicate this guy. And I'm going to change the text to something like sub menu link. And I'm going to change the size to something like 20. 20 should be enough. And now we can simply clone it a few times. So let's say four times should be enough. What I want to do right now is I want to wrap all these guys inside a div. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And you know, it's, it's better for organization purposes and it's going to be easier for us to work with once we get to the jQuery code. So I'm going to change the ID of this div to something like sub menu. This should be all right. So this is our sub menu that's going to be sliding out. And we would also need some kind of an icon that would uh, work as a trigger. So I'm going to put that icon beside this menu link number two. But before I do that, I'm also going to wrap it with a div. And now inside this guy, I'm going to add our icon. And uh, I've uploaded uh, a few more, just <laughs> A few more than the standard font awesome and linear icons, uh, icon sets. And I'm going to be using uh, the material set because um, I know that inside here, I'm going to find uh, what I'm looking for, but I don't think it's a plus. I think it's add. And this is this guy right here. And of course, I'm going to change its size to something like maybe 20 or maybe 26. This should be enough. And of course, I want this uh, this plus symbol to go beside our menu link. So I'm going to grab my div and I'm going to make this guy, make these guys horizontal and then vertical item alignment going to set to set to middle. And I guess we could maybe grab the icon and add some margin on the side. So let's say like 10 pixels, uh, 10 should be enough. Now, what I also want to do is I want to change this ID of our uh, icon to something like trigger. And I would advise to, you know, keep your naming convention like logical and consistent and simple because once we get to the code, it's, you know, it's, it's, it should be easier to, to work with it later. Now, the last bit, like the really, really last bit before we move on to jQuery is to kind of like add a class to our trigger because uh, we, want to, we want to make this guy rotate when, uh, when we click on it. I'm going to go to, I'm just going to try to off click here. I'm going to add a class. I'm going to call it like a trigger, um, like effects. I'm going to add the class. And basically all we need here is to go to our effects, to our transform. And I'm going to just add a transform rotate. Um, let's do like 45. It's going to rotate. 
And then to make this uh, transition, well, transform like a bit smoother, we're gonna add a transition that's gonna last for like half a second. And the only CSS property that I want to um, like animate here is that transform transform property. We could leave it as default. That would just simply you know animate uh, all the all the CSS properties. But you know it's uh, it's gonna be a bit maybe just a bit quicker uh, and lighter on, on the browser if we just transition this property. So this is our class, but I don't want it to be applied just yet to my um, to my trigger, so I'm just going to remove it. I just want to. I just want it to be there, but I don't want it to be applied right now to my trigger. So the next step would be to add a code block. So let's let's add a code block, and we won't be needing this uh, PHP code right here. All we need is just the JavaScript code. So before we start here, uh, just like a little disclaimer, uh, I would advise you to take a look at Lewis's video on adding jQuery inside uh, inside Oxygen, uh, because uh, you know if we click, if we add the click event here inside Oxygen, um, we should like prevent the code from being like executed like an infinite number of times, because all we want is just one click, and you know we want the code uh, the pro to process once, and then it should be done. So before we actually add our like effect, we need to first add like the jQuery um, text uh, instead of the um, the dollar sign because that's how jQuery works in in WordPress. And what we want right here is to add something like um, we, well we need to target the ID of uh, of our element um, so it um, you know so it doesn't like uh, execute like a bunch of times. But um, if you want to play around with your IDs, it would be a good idea to just enter something like a dummy um, element ID and then just percent percent. So this is what we what we have right here. And then I'm just going to add off. And then I'm just going to type in a click. So this is going to prevent um, the well, oxygen to fire that code like uh, you know, a bunch of times because, well, this is not what we really want here. So now we can actually start uh, adding our um, our jQuery code. So the first thing that I want is uh, I want to hide my sub menu, this guy right here. We want it to be hidden as default, not to be visible as default. Of course, if that's something that you that you want, if you want it to be visible as the, uh, as default, you can skip this part. But uh, I want to keep it uh, hidden. So I'm going to open uh, the brackets and I'm going to open the uh, quotation marks and I'm going to add my sub menu um, ID and I'm just going to simply say hide and then our open opening and closing a parenthesis and I'm just going to close um, this line with semicolon and if we apply the code you can see that um, our uh, our well sub menu is is hidden so the next step would be to again just I'm gonna type in jQuery and the next step would be to uh, target our trigger so it uh, actually runs a function when it's, when, once it's clicked. So I'm gonna again type in the ID of our trigger and what I want to do is I want to click on it and when I click on it I want to run a function. There we go. And then I'm gonna have to open and close the curly brackets and finish the line with the semicolon. And everything was going to be going happening with the, with our code right now, like from this moment, is going to be happening between these brackets right here. What we are saying basically right now is that whenever we click on the trigger ID, we want to run a function. And that function is simply going to be like targeting our sub menu, of course, with an ID right here, in a way that it's going to be simply uh, firing up the slide toggle event and with this guy mm, well I mean we could leave it as is you know this will be fine but uh, inside here inside these parentheses you can simply you can control the, um, the speed of, uh, of this uh, transition so like the default if I can remember what is 400 milliseconds so if you want to if you want to have something faster you can simply type uh, type in like the number in milliseconds so if we apply the code and if everything is correct, I'm just going to, uh, you know, go to the incognito mode and let's see if everything works. As you can see, if we now click on our, uh, this trigger ID, 
our submenu is being nicely toggled. I guess it's nicely sliding. But of course, we are not done yet. We have to uh, rotate our uh, our trigger once we click on it. So again, jQuery, and I'm going to open uh, the, the parentheses and I'm going to open the quotation marks. So again, I want to target our trigger ID, but this time I want to say toggle class and I want to type in the name of our class which was, I believe, trigger effects. I hope I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to close that guy. So now what we're saying is that whenever we click on the trigger, we want to toggle this trigger effects class. And since we this class is not being added to our trigger, then we are simply, you know, like adding it. And then when, when we click again, we are removing uh, that class. So save, I'm going to refresh my page. And when we click on it, you can see that it's nicely moving like this. So whenever it's closed and we click on it, it's nicely like changing into our like X, like closing symbol like that. And basically that's, <laughs> that's all there is to it. I mean, coming up with the solution took me some time because by no means am I an, am I a jQuery expert? So, you know, but you know, this is, this is the solution that, uh, that I needed. And this is the solution that I came up with. So as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and until next time, have a nice design.